so as you can see I dropped my camera so I didn't get all the footage that I wanted and on top of that every time I drove there were some slow people in front of me or people who didn't know what they were doing and here's my first attempt trying to get the camera back on I do get it back on later but not this time but here's what you all came for is the high performance pack EcoBoost Mustang good on the track well the short answer is yes it's very good so i don't have a gt or a stock or base ecoboost to like compare it to i don't have any track times because we weren't really allowed we weren't really allowed to do that and basically all i have is my experience so i can tell like this car it feels really nimble um there's plenty of times where if it wasn't for this car i would have definitely spun out and like crashed but this thing just saved me every time it would just swoop in and be like Oh, I got you. Like the tires on this car, they're Pirelli's. I forget which ones exactly, but they're really good and they have a lot of grip. And the suspension in this car is wonderful. Like this thing stays flat, absolutely flat. And the brakes are really good on this car too. I had no brake fade. It wasn't that hot out, hot out outside, but um, I felt like I could just brake forever. And I actually took it on the track two times, and the one time was on this track that you're seeing right now, and the other time was on a different one. And the second one that you'll get to see later in the video, at the end I have clips of uh, the Mustang and of other cars and stuff. But then I also have my GoPro video, which is decent. I wish I could have got it lowered. But anyway, um, on that second track, the turns are way harder. And I should mention that I have the handling package too, so I'm not sure how the just the regular high performance pack does but with the handling pack yeah this thing will kill the track and and this thing completely from the factory like i didn't do anything to it so like to be able to buy this and take it right to the track and it performed as well is just really good like ford did a good job with this car so let's look at your options so you could get the gt and get the performance pack one or two and that's when it'll start you know making a difference but i'm fairly confident that with the right driver and on the right track that this car could be a base gt just because of how well it handles now clearly it's down on the speed part but if it's a lot of turning and not a lot of accelerating then this would definitely win um if not it would at least tie i would say because i don't know for 100 percent. but the gt performance back two is in the 50,000s I believe and in the performance back one that's in the 40,000s and this car was for under 40,000 and let's take a look at if you bought a base EcoBoost and then souped it up to do well on the track so you can get the suspension you can get uh, stiffer springs and all that but you're kind of stuck with that unless you get an adaptable suspension which probably costs a lot and um, if you're not getting the adaptable suspension then that means you're basically now you're going to have a stiff ride all the time where you can change it on this car. The tires, so yeah, you can always buy some tires. You can buy the same tires, but you know, now you got to pay uh, probably $1,300 for the same tires that come on this car. And if you think about if you're leasing this car, then you're kind of paying for it over time instead of paying it all at once. So this could be a better method for you. Depends on who you are. I guess if you're, if you know what you're doing, you could find a way to get stock EcoBoost and get the same stuff pretty much for cheaper but you're also missing out on all the other things that come with the packages like the upgraded interior for the handling package the rims the stripes I mean you might you might not care about that stuff so if you don't then yeah you should probably go the other route but you do get that extra um, performance out of the engine too which I haven't driven a stock EcoBoost so I'm not sure or I have I have but not hard so i'm not 100 percent sure how much better it is but i'm sure it is better but let me know what you think and i know you can only gain so much from watching this video i wish you were there to experience like what i was feeling in the car with me but yeah let me know what you think subscribe if you like the video by the way i'm actually this this car is on swap at least right now so the link will be in the description if you want this car you can get it for a cheaper price by going this route so that's it you can watch the rest of the clips peace
I think they have one more left anyway. Yeah, I gotta definitely need to take a break. Won't be behind him next time, I'll tell you that.